Reese, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to engrave a QR code on a melamine plate using our Momport GI20 fiber laser. So let's get to it. Merry Craftmas. So Megan, what is a QR code? So a QR code is kind of like an image that when you scan a phone or like a device over in the camera app, then it takes you to a link to a website or a channel page or something. And this can be very helpful for business owners who want to put, you know, a small advertisement on the product that they actually produce by just laser engraving something on the bottom that is easily scannable by a phone that will take you right to a link to purchase that item. So like we mentioned in the intro, we're going to be using melamine, but what is melamine? Melamine is a type of plastic. We picked up a dish that is made completely out of melamine, but it can also be a coating on types of wood. And we're gonna to attempt to get a usable dark QR code on this melamine plate. We're not sure what kind of results we're gonna get, but we're gonna try it out. To create a QR code really easily in Google Chrome, you can right click and select create QR code for this page. Then it will put the URL into this form, which you can download and then scan with the device to send you to the same link. So now that we've done our testing on melamine, we're gonna go ahead and use our plate that we've got that looks kind of holiday-ish. And we're gonna go ahead and put that QR code and what do you think, happy holidays on the back because we wanna still use the plate so we don't wanna do it on the top. So we'll do it back here, but we gotta avoid this center here and we gotta make sure that we're within this inner border. So we're gonna do some measurements and then do our design. I want to avoid the center. So the center is going to be an inch and a quarter. I need to draw like the tool line that we can avoid. Okay, so we're here connected to our fiber laser and our fiber laser template. And we're going to go ahead and import that QR code that we're going to use. What I'm going to do is trace this. And QR codes trace really well because it's just a black and white image. So you don't really need to do any adjustments here. At least we found. Hit OK. And then that's going to be our QR code. Obviously, it's going to be shrunk down a little bit more, but we'll get back to that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and draw that center circle that we're going to try to avoid. And that was an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. And then we'll go ahead and put that on the tool path because we don't want anything to actually engrave with this. We just want to see it so that we can avoid it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another circle that we can put our text on like a path. I'm going to move this to our uh, engraving layer and I think we'll go ahead and make this two and a half. I'm going to go ahead and center this on that other circle. Okay, so we'll use that one. So it's actually pretty simple to curve this text. We just need to select the text and then select the circle we want to put it on. Right click and then we just apply path to text. And you can see just like that, it curved it for us. Select our text, right click, convert to path. And then we can delete our circle. So this is a piece of particle board, as you can see here, that's coated in melamine. And we're using it as a test piece because we only have one melamine plate. So we're gonna hope that what we engrave here, we can get the settings right on this, that it'll transfer to the plate just fine. So that when we actually get to the plate, it's the final product and everything will look good. So we'll go ahead and get this engraved on the fiber laser. Okay, so we're all focused up, but it's important to note that if you are going to engrave melamine, you want to do this in a very well ventilated space. Well, I think we got great results, so it's time to do it on the plate. So now we want to get this in place. I want to make sure it's focused right and refocus because this is going to be a different height. Now what I want to do is I actually want to frame the circle, the tool mark that we made and not output our design so that we can get the plate in place. So now when I go to frame, it should show the circle. And now we can get this perfectly lined up. Okay, moment of truth.
Well, it's there, but it's not really that dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and try running it again. And then if that doesn't darken it up, we'll go ahead and change some of the settings to get it dark. Okay, so here's the finished product. You can see that it is engraved, uh, but it's not darkening up and there wasn't any setting that I can get to darken it up just right. So we can't get the QR code to read like we can with our test piece. What we believe with the test piece is that the laser was actually burning through this very, very thin layer of melamine and it was showing the wood underneath. And that's why this darkened up so much the first pass we did it. Whereas this is much thicker and it's just not darkening up no matter what we throw at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some black spray paint, but we're not gonna spray onto the plate itself. We're gonna spray onto a little paper towel here thing. And then we're just gonna wipe it onto the engraved areas and then quickly wipe it off with alcohol. And that should leave a nice black and white contrast that the camera needs to pick up the QR code. So let's try that. much better. So here are the final results and I think it turned out pretty good. Obviously we wish that we didn't have to do kind of a two-step process and spray paint on it and then wipe it off real quick to get the dark marks but it did the trick and it actually looks really cool and it works more importantly so that's really neat. I imagine if we were using a different color plate we would maybe get different results but we're not sure. We only have this one plate right now. It's really cool that we can get such fine details with our laser to be able to engrave a QR code. Of course, with the few workarounds we had to do, no matter what material you're using, you're always gonna wanna keep a few things in mind. Make sure you always work in a well-ventilated space. Obviously, melting plastic with a fiber laser is gonna create some kind of fumes and you don't wanna be breathing that in. So a well-ventilated space is a must. The next thing is making sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. So this fiber laser has been really cool to work with and try out different materials that we haven't tried engraving before. And if you want to get any Montport machine for 10% off, what code can you use? You can use Anonymous 10 to get 10% off any machine on the Montport website. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, like it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn those notifications to so remind you every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.